Leave insert higher level maths 20 to 23. This is the solution video to paper one, question two. So paper one, question two was a functions and calculus question. So we can see in part A, we're given a function here, f of x is equal to x squared plus bx plus c. We're told it has a local minimum at the point three minus one and find the value of b and the value of c. So first thing we do is we differentiate. So we'll say f of x, f of x is equal to x squared plus bx plus c. And then we'll differentiate it to get f prime of x is equal to 2x plus b. So it doesn't matter that this is an unknown uh, coefficient here. We just differentiate it as normal. If we have a local minimum at the point 3 minus 1, if we put minus or if we put 3 into the derivative, it should be equal to 0. So if we do f prime of 3, that's equal to 2 times 3 plus b is equal to 0. So that's b is equal to 2 times 3 is 6, and over that side then it'll be minus 6. So b is equal to minus 6. We can pop that down there. And then to get the value of c, we'll simply input the 3, and the output will be minus 1 in the original function. So the f of 3, the original function, is equal to 3 squared plus b times, well b is minus 6, so I'm going to say minus 6 times 3 plus c, and that will be equal to the minus 1. So that c is equal to minus 1 plus 18 minus 9, so c is equal to 8. Out of a total of 30 marks, that was worth 15 marks after the adjustments to the marking scheme. For part b then, we have a limits qu uh, uh, question find the value of the following limit, where n is an element of n. To do this, we take the limit of each one individually, and I'm gonna do it in two steps, in two, and, I'm, and I'm gonna do two steps at once here. I'm, when we take this limit, what we do is, we divide each term in that by the highest value of n that is within it. So that would be n in this case. So I'm gonna take the limit as n tends towards infinity, of n over n over n over n plus 1 over n. So I've just put n under each one of them. And then we take the next one plus the limit as n tends to infinity of n over n plus 1000 over n over n over n. And then for this one, the third to the power of n, we don't need to do anything to it. So that's the limit as n tends towards infinity of a third to the power of n. Now when we take these limits here, first of all, n over n, regardless of the size of n, that's always equal to one. So, you know, if it was two over two, three over three, a million over a million, it's always equal to one. So all of these ones that I circle in green are equal to one. And these ones that I'm gonna circle in red, one over n, and a thousand over n, as n gets bigger, that fraction will get smaller. So these ones here tend towards zero, and a third to the power of n also tends towards zero. As you increase any fraction like this to a higher and higher power, the fraction gets smaller and it tends towards zero. So what we get is one over one plus zero, plus one plus zero over one, plus zero. So this is one plus one plus zero. The answer is two. The limit of that is two. That was worth a total of five marks out of 30 after the adjustments to the marking scheme were made. The last bit then, we're given a function, we're given the graph of a function, and we're told um, that it's defined for minus two to two. Um, its graph is shown, draw the graph of G of, X, uh, G of X minus two on the coordinate diagram below. All we do here is every point is moved down by two units. So we can take our three main points here, move them down, one, two, three, all of them down by two units, and then you join the dots just 
in the same shape as the function. So that is the g of x minus 2. The next one, same function, but we're asked to draw the g of x plus 3. The difference is when you add 3 to your input, you're adding 3 to every single input, the transformation that occurs now is it moves to the left by 3 units. So that will move 1, 2, 3. That will move 1, 2, 3. And that will move 1, 2, 3. And now you join your dots again like this and you get your function there that is the g of x plus 3. Overall after the adjustments to the American scheme were made that was worth 10 marks out of a possible 30. Okay so thanks for watching if you have any questions just ask in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.